What up? It's your boy Delibri Amolita on platform and welcome back to an episode of Street Topic. This episode of Street Topic we'll be talking about uh, Cine. Old school guys may know him like when Boom TV just started. This guy was one of the biggest names on Boom TV and one of the guys who always frequent Boom TV. You had Cine, you had Adar Kenji when Jovi just popped up in those days you know. So before we dive deep into this and for me to give my own side of the story because <laughs> there is a lot of clickbait, a lot of uh, marketing happening right now on both sides between Sydney and Jovi. So if you're watching me or listening to me for the first time click the subscribe button down there to keep part of the family when you click the subscribe button click the bell when you click the bell button to the know okay where did this whole thing start for everybody who knows jovi has been more aggressive online than releasing music though he released music and every time he released music is never short of power of production and quality sydney on the other hand was popping and the last time i heard of him or saw him was around 2012 i think after jovi had done for quite a month past man when jovi was still hot he had a collaboration with sydney because sydney was one of the guys who always frequent tv even before jovi blew up the last time i saw sydney was the video he did with jovi that is still fresh in my mind is the song featuring jovi coco from everything sydney said that song was a part of an album that jovi was a producer and artistic director on that project so egos collide and the house fell and so why is all this thing happening let's just go back to why is all this thing happening where did sydney come from why did he just pop up and why did Jovi make the statement he made on his Facebook page like when he said can be ungrateful move your way do whatever the fuck you want to do and move on with your life but when you're ungrateful and disrespectful that's where the problem is so Jovi made a post and called Ishaku Tata and Renis and everybody who now belongs to Nobel music like the current Nobel music members and said it's about time let's just start releasing music let's start working and when he did that he made it publicly he would have just called them uh, on phone and say you know what guys let's come together have a meeting on how we finish start releasing music but he did it on his page he's in contact with all those guys Tata is around him every day Renis is always talking to him Ishaku since the last time I heard his EP I haven't heard shit from him like I don't know where he's at but I know Jovi still has contact with him so when Jovi did that he wanted blocks to start talking okay so I'm sitting the camp so I'm sitting the camp like Jovi want to release music like new bear music they prepare for drop banger them so when he did that it didn't really stay that long on blocks and social media platform so what he did was he went back and tapped back to his old problems like Zilla and the guys who left new bear music he went back and tapped into that to bring back the story like when he made that post so Cine just released a single and nobody gave a fuck I believe he sent his soul a few blocks and nobody shared it so the reason this whole thing is happening right now is because Cine wants to come back I'm not saying everything he's doing is is a lie because based on Jovi's track record and his relationship with people we all know Jovi hasn't had the best track record with keeping company if you can stay with Jovi it means you have a higher level of tolerance I have friends like that and for most guys who don't understand this whole thing and how it works niggas are as loyal as their last meal okay niggas are loyal to the last person who fed them so even if you do good to somebody for 10 years or five years or you built somebody's life from zero the day you stop doing that same favor for them they forget about everything like everybody has instant amnesia when it comes to to help and assist them, okay so sydney now came back with that and said jovi also backstabbed them and jovi is complaining about others being ungrateful and backstabbing he's just having the same thing he did to him way back sydney claimed he brought jovi and his brother to his house he was paying their taxi fare he had all the musical equipment that Jovi was learning to produce on so when I saw that post and I saw blogs posting that shit the first thing I did is I went to YouTube and typed Sydney and I realized he just released the song both parties Jovi and Sydney the reason Jovi started that whole thing of people being ungrateful is because Nobel music is about to release music they need that boss from the media from the blogs and everything they need that attention right now they need that media coverage right now that's why Jovi made that statement maybe he wanted somebody to to say something or one of those old guys or maybe not one of the guys who left his record label but an artist who is somehow established like a b-list or a-list artist to reply him for him now to go all in on the person to keep his name trending on the media space until when he released music because that's a new way of promotion now jovi finna released music and the whole new bear music camp wants to start releasing music that's why jovi reignite his topic he always run to sydney too saw an advantage and say you know what i have a history with this guy and i just released my song nobody gives a fuck i should just jump into it guys to start talking and it's working for sydney though jovi hasn't got the most out of it sydney is getting the most out of it okay it's not news that jovi is disrespectful everybody knows jovi is disrespectful why did sydney decide to talk right now after 10 years it's because he's coming back into the music space both parties finna release 
music and projects and they want to warm the soil they are tilling the soil before they start planting they are just warming up the market putting their name in the media you understand that's just what they are doing right now and with that said if you're listening to me for the first time click that subscribe button down there to get part of the family where you click the subscribe button click the bell when you click the bell put it on now okay it's your boy delivery it has been long that i haven't talked or seen you guys one-on-one -on -one. yeah i'm out